Hello everyone and welcome back to another mukbang. It's Lisa here and today I'm going to be eating some guacamole bacon burger sliders. I do keep I did keep them open face because it was really hard to get the bacon and guacamole to like stay on all together without like smushing it and the guacamole squeezing out. So I'll just probably place the top on each <laughs> as I go. But I have it's like candied bacon on the top half and then I have the little burger they kind of they shrunk a lot whenever I cooked them I did cook them in like my little ninja foodie grill um it's also like an air fryer and stuff but you ha there's different settings on it and I swear to you they were bigger than the buns and they like shrunk up into little balls instead but I'm sure they're still good anyway let's dig in and um, I did want to let you guys know that everybody that's been requesting like custom burp videos and stuff from me, I do plan to do that soon. So just DM me on any of my sites if I haven't gotten back to you yet. Mm. See, like all the guacamole fell out. Mm. They are so good. I'm so hungry right now. It's pretty late. They are so hard. And I did promise oh, to tell a story of one of my subscribers. And if anybody else wants me to share their stories about what they've been through and stuff, I would love to. I've been through a lot of mental health stuff myself. And like any other stuff, too, that you would like to just... Oh, my seam. I got my desk covered. Mm. And I will eventually share more in depth of my story. But so, the story I'm sharing today, they suffer from anorexia. And I do know some people with eating disorders do enjoy the watching mukbangs because they feel like they can't indulge like this. I'm not sure if that's why they chose to watch me a lot, but they've been a long time subscriber of mine. Mm. Oh, before I get into the story, though, I do want to say thank you to my subscriber, Vinny, that purchased me some Christmas presents off my Amazon list. And not that I expect anything from anybody, but if you ever did want to, like, donate to my channel to help me out with meals or buy me any gifts off my Amazon list. I do have it all linked on my link tree in the description and you can find it there. And I, I appreciate it so, so much when it happens and it put a huge smile on my face to unpackage something. I was not um, expecting anything. And then it came in the mail and I was like, 
super happy. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so. The story she told me her weight, um, since she suffers from anorexia, um, she told me her weight in... Ooh, kilograms, but I will make sure that I put the the pounds up here. So from 1999 to 2007, she weighed about 128 kilograms um, due to her PTSD and legal substance abuse. I'm just kind of reading her message that she sent me. Sorry, guys, if I'm not like super interactive on here. I just don't want to get anything wrong. Uh. Ooh, already. And um, so her legal substance abuse was antidepressants and sleeping pills, and she was overeating. And that's when she got up to the weight of 128 kilograms. And then on a night of April 2007, while she was on the medication, she went out and had about three beers, which led to, because she wasn't supposed to drink on this medication, it led to her being in a coma for eight days. Can you imagine being in a coma for eight days? Like you lose a week and a day of your life. I just can't even fathom that. That would seem so scary to wake up to me and not really know what had happened, you know? Oh God, this is so messy. Mm. This bacon goes perfect with the guacamole. And those medications were not supposed to be mixed with any alcohol. So that's why only three beers put her in, the coma, in a coma. And then after she got out of the coma, she started a diet and exercise regimen. Which is good, you know, at first you're trying to take care of yourself, but then she said with that, she lost about 40 kilograms and she felt happy because she had gotten out of an eight year abusive relationship. I have also been there. I have been in an abusive relationship in my young 20s. I was married to somebody and that's another story for another time. But um, she said she enjoyed life more than ever being out of that abusive relationship. And that's great. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm while she was um, enjoying her life, she was still losing weight. Um, she was unrecognizable on two th in 2016. In 2016, she was only about 55 kilograms. I've never been that low as a grown woman. And thank you so much for telling this story. I'm not going to mention your name because I wasn't sure if you were okay with it. But if you want to, down below in the comments, you can shout that you, you put that you were the person that told the story and I'll pin it. But thank you for sharing your story because I do want to start doing stuff like this. Getting the awareness out there, telling people stories. Um, so maybe somebody doesn't feel so alone about their story, you know? Sorry, I have bacon in my teeth. She said... Her mental state, because she is anorexic, was telling her to lose three to five more kilograms. Now, at that weight, you already, you know, pushing it to the limit. Your body surviving. And she said she got to about 34 kilograms. 34 kilograms. That's crazy. Wow. To weigh that little. And she collapsed and had a heart attack. Those are the dangers of when you weigh so low, your body is struggling so hard to work anything because it doesn't have the nutrients that it needs. So she ended up having a heart attack because of that. 
And now, since 2018, she's had two heart attacks. Uh. And I'm sorry, this is a deep, deep subject for today. Um, If you're used to my normal, cheerful talking about movies and stuff, I may get to it if I still have time. But I feel like it's important to talk about these things. So, she said three mental physical collapses and wasn't even able to walk in 2018. Or since 2018 for a while. No matter how much she tried, she couldn't gain weight. And then in the pandemic of 2020, because, you know, you're home and you stay away from socializing. Ouch! Ow! Cheeto just got my butt. Ouch. Um... So she was cozy at home with family and cooking and laughing, being sort of happy. And now speaking, December 2022, she weighs 57 kilograms, which, you know, is a lot better than 34. But she's still not happy with the circumstances that she's living at. I mean, that's still low weight, right? I mean, I don't know her height. But for my height, I'm 5'6". That would be a... Mm. That would be a low weight for me. Not even sure if I've ever weighed that small as an adult. Um, I love you so much and I'm so grateful for you letting me tell your story. But... She's still battling a lot, and she's still dealing with a lot of mental health, and um, as for her anorexia, she says she has some advice for everybody that if you're dealing with it. She says, love your body, keep a healthy diet, walk instead of using a car or bus, simply enjoy anything you eat, but make sure it has a limit, as in don't obsess over it. Make sure that you're just doing what makes you feel good physically and mentally, not Pushing yourself to extremes. Not becoming obsessive over it. Which I know, easier said than done, but... I'm so happy you're still with us. (laughs) It's a lot to have gone through and still be motivated to live life at that point, you know? There's other story. There's more to her story that she wants to tell me, but she said she'll write it at another time. I'm sure it's a lot. This story was a lot, you know. That's a lot to hear that somebody has gone through that. I was listening to Christmas music while getting ready today, so I kind of have a song stuck in my head. Alright, so if anybody wants me to share their story or discuss stuff in the comments with me about stuff, I'm not saying I'm an expert on anything. I obviously do not suffer from anorexia and never have, but I have had a lot of mental health issues and I have a background in a little bit of medical um, before I became a housewife. (laughs) But, um, yeah. So just talk, it's a discussion topic, you know, and it's good to get the awareness out there and let people know what's going on in other people's lives so you don't feel so alone and you feel like you have another story to (coughs) witness how bad it can get for you if you don't get help. You're here. Mm Okay, now I guess I do have time, right, to talk about my other stuff. I have watched a lot of stuff. I've been actually really in a kind of depressive mood over the last few days. I struggle with, 
I struggle with being housewife because basically until we moved here, I worked as an adult, except for during COVID. And then it became really mentally, it became really mentally hard for me to want to go back to work. Um, I'm already someone that doesn't like to leave the house as much as it is. And so the last few days I've been feeling really worthless and a little hopeless. Um, I'm okay guys, I promise. Like nothing, like not suicidal or anything, but um, I've just been struggling with being a housewife. Um, Because I feel like it's due to my mental health and not because... Yeah, we chose to do this, and we can afford it financially, but I just feel like I should be contributing in some other way, you know? So, I do struggle with that a lot. Because I don't even know that it would be... At the moment, I don't believe in myself that it would be physically possible for me to go and get a job. Because I'm not terrified of being out in public that often. Um, so yeah, that's I've been in a kind of weird mood over the last few days because of that. Um, but I'm happy I'm filming because this does always really make me feel better. Um, it's just a matter of getting me to do it. That's really hard. And then if I don't do it, uh, I feel like that I'm even more worthless because... This is something that could potentially lead to something, you know, beneficial. But yeah, it's, I feel like it's very difficult for me sometimes to see my self-worth when I'm not, when I'm attributing it to a job. Uh. But don't worry, my husband reassures me all the time that he thinks that I'm doing enough and I am enough and... Yeah, I have a great husband that definitely does that for me. Mm. <laughs> yum. So much food. Mm, I do have some chips here. Not sure how much I can eat of that. I'm already feeling a little bit full. Cheeto? No. I don't want him to try to jump up here. Oh, um, I did watch the movie We Need to Talk About Kevin. That was a very trippy and sad and very messed up movie but I enjoyed watching it and I really like the guy that played Kevin he plays in the perks of being a wallflower and he's a great actor um I really enjoyed that um you know I really enjoyed that um movie a lot Cheeto's lip is swollen right now. Um, my aunt had bought me... Hang on. He's wanted me to open the blinds for him. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I have guacamole on my sweater already. Anyway, um, Cheeto has a little swollen lip because he was playing with something that he shouldn't have been playing with and he's allergic to certain things, so now his lip is swollen. I'm hoping it'll go down on its own in the next few days, otherwise I'll have to take it back to the vet. He's already had this issue like two or three times since we've gotten him um, over a year and a few months ago. Uh. 
Wow. Yeah. My aunt bought me a little Christmas tree. And one of the ornaments was already, like, falling off. And they're, like, kind of stuck to the tree. And he started playing with it. So I just let him play with it. It's just a little styrofoam ball that had some glitter on it. And it's probably the glitter. Because a lot of glitter is made out of, like, plastics. And plastic is what he's allergic to. So I should have known better and not let him play with it. But... Mm. Okay, I actually think I am going to save, well, we'll see. I still kind of want to sit here and chat for a little bit. Um, and these chips are good. I also watched a movie on, that's on Netflix called Disappearance at Clifton Hill. And the ending I really enjoyed. It was like definitely like a happy ending to it, but... Kind of like a mystery thriller type thing. Uh, I enjoyed it. Oh. And I have been trying to like up my intake, like a volume of food. Um, but when I get in those depressive episodes, it takes me a while to like get out of bed and eat in the morning. And I feel like that has a big factor to do with how my metabolism is doing. And then I watched, um, it's on Hulu, the French dispatch. It's about a, the French dispatch is like a. Um, newspaper, I guess. A really long one. I don't know. But, um, it was a very odd film, but very interesting and intriguing. Like, I stayed and watched till the end because the way they told the story was kind of cartoonish and kind of, um, just weird. But it was, like, told in a way that it kept me super interested. Uh, uh, uh. And also the French Dispatch has like a lot of well-known actors and actresses in it. Like if you watched it, you would recognize a lot of them. Although Bill Murray and the mother that played in We Need to Talk About Kevin, she's in it as well, I'm pretty sure. Timothy Chalamet and I can't pronounce her name and I'm not even sure if I really remember it, but the main character in The Host she's in it as well and there's a bunch of other people you would recognize their faces from i just don't know their names and i can't tell you where they're from but i've definitely recognized them but yeah they have a big cast in that movie and then the last one i'll talk about has the girl that plays cheryl um madeline pesh i think is her name um she plays cheryl in riverdale and she's the main character in this m movie called Hotel for the Holidays. Oh, this one's going to be really messy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, it was a good movie. I mean... I feel like it was pretty typical or predictable, um, but I enjoyed it, um, the storyline and the characters, and the love interest, he's played in something else, but I don't remember what I've seen him in. I'm not really sure if I remember, but I have for sure seen him in something. Hotel for the Holidays. Did I say that? Hotel for the Holidays, that's what it's called. And I don't know what I watched on, though. Prime, maybe? Uh. 
I know I watched a lot of stuff in last week or so but there's more but I'll wait till my next Hong Kong and actually I decided I am going to go live Thursday this coming up Thursday which will be what date that'll be the 15th of December uh. at 7 p.m. Central Time if you all care to join me we want to watch that we um that's what i'll be doing i'll even post it on my community tab in case some of you don't watch this far into my mukbangs which i don't think a lot of you do <laughs> and if you a lot of my viewers are also not subscribers so please please subscribe to my channel if you watch my stuff regularly it, it's great for me please give this video a thumbs up too or comment something down below share it to your friends <laughs> These were really good, but definitely full. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, please give this a thumbs up. I feel like my list came out a lot with that. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And to my all my regular subscribers, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. And as I said before, if you wanted to support this channel in any kind of way or other than just liking and subscribing, and that does so much for me as well. And I don't expect anything, but my link tree has all my links to all my socials if you wanted to follow me on anything else. And it also has like my Amazon, my Venmo, my Cash App. I appreciate all of you so much. I love you all so much. And I know the holidays are coming up. Hopefully I'll do a live for holidays or something, but... Um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!